Welcome back. We're still working on the dome leak simulator. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating the fourth position of this dome leak simulator. You have been through the 306 clamping, the 406 clamping, and installing the emergency product removal valve on the clean out collar. Now we're going to go into drilling, another alternative for bringing product out of the gasoline tank. All of the kits will come with a removable plate. And then you'll slide in a new plate that will allow you to practice drilling through the aluminum. We're going to also emphasize that you need to use a pneumatic uh, drill. We don't want you introducing any kind of battery operated or other electric drills uh, because in the real event you're going to be dealing with potentials for flammable vapor. We're going to use a hole saw. This is a, a bimetal hole saw. For the purpose of, of our, our prop and getting maximum cuts out of the aluminum, we're just using a two inch uh, hole saw. In the real event, you would probably move more closer to a three inch hole saw. This actually takes practice. You have to be able to get the pilot bit to go through first, and you're gonna wanna do just like any normal drill, drill down through the pilot bit. But once the pilot bit has established the hole or penetrated through the aluminum, now you're working with a hole saw event. The hole saw, this kerf that this makes, is going to be resistance to a lot of down force. So you want to let the, let the RPMs cause the hole saw to move, and then you want to make sure that you're able to uh, just let the hole saw work. Don't lean on it, don't press on it. Don't wobble it back and forth either, okay? Now, I'm going to change sheets. I already have another sheet that I've been drilling on already some safety precautions that we're going to look at. Eyeglasses. We are drilling through a metal object, so you want to have eye protection on, you want to have hand protection on, and we're also going to keep the hole saw when we're penetrating through the, the aluminum. The kerf will tend to load up with aluminum filings. So we're going to bring in usually a pressurized water can or a booster line, and you would then keep that drilling process uh, clean of any aluminum filings, okay? All right, now that we've put in our aluminum plate, one of the things I wanted to make sure you were aware of is that you can get a large number of drillings out of one sheet. Uh, you want to make sure that whenever you're making your drill marks, select a spot that is going to be uh, workable, and then hold the, hold the drill in a straight up and down fashion and allow for the pilot bit to go through first. <laughs> Now that the pilot bit has been seated through the uh, aluminum, what you want to do is you want to pick up your RPMs on the hole saw itself and allow the hole saw to cut through the aluminum. Not a whole lot of pressure has to be applied in pushing down. You also want to prevent from wobbling this hole saw while you're doing it. So we're going to pick up our RPMs. Now you may have noticed periodically that it was binding up and that was because the kerf, the, the teeth of the hole saw would catch and it would cause me to torque. It's just what you do to prevent that is just back up a little bit, ease off of your pressure and then allow the hole saw to continue back on down. 